Welcome back to Sip the Talent Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to talk about Adisa Isaac, who finally got his way back on the field today, and well, yesterday, and he was able to get his, well, not yesterday, Saturday. <laughs> he was able to play in his first preseason game and get his first snaps. He played 38 snaps, which was 50%, 56% of the, the um, snaps, and he was able to get four tackles in his first preseason game. Uh, setting the edge, um, a guy that's really going to take the, we're hoping to take the snaps of Jadavian Clowney. Not that he's going to get the production of Jadavian Clowney, but we need him to take those snaps and maybe set the edge and maybe get some sacks. But let's take a look at what Adisa Isaac did in his first preseason snaps um, versus the Atlanta Falcons. Welcome back to Sip the Tyler Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. Roll the intro. All right, let's get into this Adisa Isaac film. Now, I will say this. Before we get started, smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be here when the rest of this content drops throughout the 2024 preseason and regular season because regular season is about two, two and a half weeks away. So you want to be here when we drop all that content for this Super Bowl run that is coming. Now, um, getting into Adisa Isaac film, I will say this. When you think about Adisa Isaac and Chop Robinson, both were, you know, comparable. Chop Robinson went ahead of Adisa Isaac. I liked Adisa Isaac's film more than Chop Robinson coming out of college. Let me tell you why. Chop had a lot better get off than Adisa. But I think Adisa had the better overall game. Chop could beat you with speed around the edge and kind of disrupt a lot of stuff with that get off. But I think Adisa had just the the slow and steady wins the race approach to his game. And I, and I personally like that more. A lot of people like that, that, that instantaneous right now approach. And you know, that works in a lot of instances. I liked Adisa's approach better. And I liked, so that in turn, I liked Adisa more than I liked chop. That wasn't a popular take at doing draft season, but it is what it is and was what it was. And, it is what it is now. But let's get into this um, Adisa Isaac film and you know see what we see on this first preseason game with the Baltimore Ravens. Here he is here. Highlight it. That's our guy. Let's see what we got. If they snap it sometime today. This is the power rush. This is what, you know, most defensive ends have power. Look at him. Just He just walks this guy back. He just walks this tackle back to the quarterback. Straight down the middle of him. So just, just off the, the strength, we know Adisa has power. And I know watching him um, Saturday morning or, or early Saturday afternoon, he's a lot bigger than I expected. He looks a lot bigger in pass than I expected. He definitely has the power rush. Well, at least against this guy, he does. Straight down the middle, long arming him, just basically walking him straight back to the quarterback. And the quarterback steps up and gets away from him, but he he great bull rush by Adisa to now get the quarterback off his mark. Awesome tackle by Trent, too. A great bull rush by Adisa to get that guy off his mark and um, basically start the, the scramble of the, the QB. Once he makes the QB move, it's up to other guys to kind of, you know, do their thing and, and, and get it, get it popping. That's a great, great job by Adisa to, to get, to get the guy moving off his mark. Matter of fact, let's, let's go with the, the full screen. Let's go full screen. Let's go full screen. We don't need to see me. Let's go to this next one. It's on your right side over here. On the right side of your screen. Here, let's go. He's right there. Got doubled. Now, what I will say is, even though it looked like he got ragdolled, which he did get ragdolled, he still kind of, if this would have been a run, he's outside. That, you know, he's getting ragdolled. He got double teamed. Don't care. He's still outside. He's still outside. And his outside shoulder's free. He fought like heck. 
He fought like heck to keep that outside arm free. Get that outside shoulder free. Yeah, he getting ragdolled. Yeah, he got two guys on him. Don't matter. That outside arm is free. And he potentially, potentially, if they would have ran this ball, made that court, made that running back, cut that back to Ardarius right there. Potentially, if there's a running play. That outside arm is free. He's the outside most guy. And if this is a running play, potentially this running back got to cut that to Ardarius right there. Because he has this, this outside shoulder free and could come off and, and potentially make a play on this running back right here. If, if, if he had the ball. If. And I know if, if was a fifth, y'all. Y'all know the rest of the same. I, I like the effort. I like the effort. Let's go to the next one. I felt I feel on this play, he could have been more, well, not more. I was about to use some, some more improper grammar. He could have been quicker. I felt like he didn't know which gap he was supposed to hit because he peaks in his B gap, but when he's technically supposed to hit this gap, and that kind of throws it off. I feel like if he hit it clean, he gets a run at the quarterback because he's supposed to loop all the way to this gap. Malik's going to take that. He's going to cross face there. And he's supposed to malu uh, not malu he's supposed to loop all the way to this gap. And he kind of forgets which gap to go in. So he kind of goes in there and then has to peek back out and hit that. But I mean, again, his first he, he started practicing two weeks ago. This is his first game reps right here. So, you know, it's gonna come and go. So he kind of steps right there. And if he comes all the way off, if he comes all the way around initially. Maybe he comes quick enough where this guy can't get off. But because he kind of hesitates, they pass it off perfect. The offensive line pass it off perfect because he kind of hesitates just a little bit. But if he comes full speed off 93 butt, which I think 93 is Sinat, Sinet, however you say it, maybe he gets a chance at a free run. But that little hesitation right there, you got to come off the thing full speed. You got to come right here, wide open. Wide open. And in contrast, if you watched my film earlier or well, yesterday, you saw um, somebody for the Falcons do this, and we weren't able to pass it off right. They crossed the face of two of our defenders, and we didn't pass it off right, and they got right down the middle of the um, the scrimmage, right down the middle of the line of scrimmage because we didn't pass it off right and made our quarterback move off the spot. Whereas this guy kind of um, delayed a little bit, and they passed it off perfect. And I think I'm trying to think of who it was that we we didn't pass it off right. It was Rosen Gardner, Falele, and I don't know if it was Ben Cleveland or McCarray. One of those, one of those two. But it was Rosen Gardner, Falele, and whoever the center was at the time. But it's basically the same thing. And because of the little delay by Isaac, they were able to pass it off. But if he come through that screaming like wide open and hit this thing right off his butt, that guy don't have a time to flip his hips and block him. But it'll come. It'll come. It'll come. Good coverage by Trent. Good coverage by Trent. Our guy right here. Now, this one right here, uh, like if you're the outside leverage guy, if you have outside contained, stay outside. See, right now he's covered up. He's in no man's land right now. He needs to keep this outside leverage. This outside arm, this outside shoulder needs to be free. You cannot worry about this gap right here. This is not, you can't worry about that. You got the linebackers and everybody else got to do it. You got to make sure you turn everything back because that's where the help is. And then he commits the cardinal sin. To me, it's the cardinal sin. And I'll show you where it happens at. He peeks, in, even though the ball carrier goes in there, that is not your job. Do your job. Stay out here. Stay out here and let these guys take care of that. Let these guys take care of that. And if you do so happen to commit this cardinal sin, you better make the tap. You better make the tap. If your job is outside contained, outside contained. 
And if the ball happens to come your way, make the tackle. But if you peek inside, you better make the tackle. So what if you peek inside and he jump cut back out there and there ain't nobody out there? Now look, because you got two people in the same gap right here. You got Pepe and, and um, him in the same gap. Now you don't have gap integrity because you peeking inside. Now I understand the ball's in there, but what you know what I'm just saying? You you stay outside. You have to trust. You have to trust everybody's gonna do their job. And by you peeking inside, that kind of breaks that trust. Because if they if they step in there and bounce it, now ain't nobody out there. You ain't you ain't where you're supposed to be. Now they get a big run. Because you you didn't trust that the people inside was gonna do what they're supposed to do. And it's not about, you know, I understand, hey, I saw him go inside. I wanted to make the tackle. That's that's not what it's about. It's about trust your teammates that they're going to do your job, do their job, and then you doing yours. That's that's what it is. But again, first first game, first reps. I'm just saying, not not complaining, just saying. Just talking. See, down this, this is textbook right here. This is textbooks right here. Now, now I'll tell you, I'm a, I'm a, I mentioned the word gap integrity. So based off this right here, I'm going to guesstimate everybody's gaps. That's his gap. That's Trent's gap. That's his gap. This is Rigby's gap. That's his gap. This is Ardarius' gap. That's his gap. Everybody's assigned a gap in the run game. So that's what I'm saying when I say gap integrity. Everybody's a, technically assigned a gap. And it's your job, if the ball comes there, to attempt to make the tackle. That's what gap integrity means. When I say it, that's what it means. Everybody's assigned a gap. It's your, it's your run fit, so to speak. It's your run fit. So look, now look, that's basically where everybody is. That's basically where everybody is. Nobody blocked our Darius. He's in his gap. So he should make that tackle. He should make that tackle. He, everybody's in their run fit. Well, not everybody. Not everybody. So he went, okay, let me show you what happened. I know we're talking about Rigby, but I'm just talking about run fits right now. If he's going to go there, when, when this ball is hand off, Rigby needs to trigger there. And when it's hand off, you see our Darius fit right there. So those three, those are your run fits. That's their run fits. And maybe Rigby slowed down because he couldn't tell. But you see that double team, Rigby, you got to activate. You got to activate or dare is activate. Because technically, that's 97's gap. He can't get there because of the double team. Rigby got to be there or Darius is there. That's the run fits. But back to the subject at hand, our guy here, Adisa, Adisa, I mean, doing a great job of controlling that edge, doing a great job of controlling that edge and whooping the tight end. And then he gives him a little rip at the end to try to fall in and make the tackle because the ball is obviously handed off and it's an inside run. It's a great job trying to fall in and make the tackle. That's a great rip right there. Pretty, really, really gave Fitzpatrick, who's the tight end, the business. Right there. All right, now I, I I need to see more in his bag. I need to see more in his pass rush bag. This is a straight pass rush. Uh, he gave him a little head and shoulder. That that really ain't much right there. I don't really know what that is. That's I that don't even classify as a ah, ah, in my book. Like that that ain't much or nothing. So now he engaged with the long arm. Uh, he he grabs the wrist, but you got to do something with it. You got the you got the wrist with your right hand. Do something with it. Throw it by, rip under, do something with it. You just dancing right here. Y'all ballroom dancing at this point. The ballroom dancing not going nowhere. I need you to you do something with it. You need to rip, spin, do something. 
Because you got the wrist. You got the wrist. Hold on, let me, let me bag him up a little bit. Ah, oh, my bad. I went too far. I did something. I can't see my ball now. You got the wrist. Do something with it, though. Do something with it. You got what you need. You got what you need. Do, right there. You got what you need. Do something with it. Now, you just ballroom dancing at this point. You got to have a move to go with that. You got to have a move. You need a move. You need a move. Just got to finish it. Got to finish his rep some kind of way. Yeah, and I just say here the, the same thing with the pass rush rep. He's on, on this side right here. I need, I need to see something more. I need to see some, some kind of counter. I need to see some kind of counter. Counter, I mean. The long arm, you have to have more than just the long arm. You got the bull, we saw the bull rush earlier, but you got to have more than that. You got you to put a, a, a screwdriver, a hammer, an axe, a hacksaw. You got to have more on your tool belt. You got to get more. If this was a run and you just sit on the edge, I understand. But this is a straight pass pro. Look at the quarterback. Let me get this, this, um, let me get that magnifying glass off. He's straight. This is empty. So you know it's a pass. At this point, you should be planning your moves. This is not much of a plan. Because it's empty. So you know, unless it's a quarterback draw, and this, this is Taylor Heineke, I think. I think this is Taylor Heineke. The draw probably ain't an option. Probably is not an option. If it is, is if it is, it's shocking everybody. You should have a pass rush plan out right now. This is not much of a plan. Now, you know, with a diesel, this is his first taste of action. I, I, I do understand that, so I ain't gonna be too overly critical of him. But he just he needs to develop more quickly because he's, in my opinion. Behind because he, you know, he was hurt early in camp. We got these um joint practices coming up, I think starting Thursday or Wednesday, whatever day it is. And um, you know, the starters are really going to get a lot of those reps. That's when we that's when Vinoa get reps. That's when Owe and Jabo and some of the guys that we expect to get a lot of gonna get most of those reps. So this is a week to be on the side field, work on your stuff. Get with Chuck, work on your stuff. Because I think he will be good in the run game. But we got a guy that's in the run game. We talked about him Friday. That's Malik. Right now, he's looking real Malikish. We don't, And we don't need another guy that's just, that's just a run game guy. We got that in Malik. And we know we got Malik. So you need him. You need to get in your bag, get your spin move down, get your cross chop, get your rip, get something. Get all your, whatever you lacking. Get that stuff down, work on it, and, and get better at it. But again, that's again, I know you knew. I'm just wanting to bring this to you guys and see what Adisa did in his first preseason game. So I appreciate you guys for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world. Enjoy your Monday. And uh, we got the call-in show tonight at 6. So make sure you call in. We can talk about anything from the game um, Saturday or just anything about the team in general. Have your questions ready. Have your comments ready and have your talk stuff to talk about when you when you call in. And then we have the roundup at nine. So I'll make sure you tune in for that as well. We'll have all the fellas there with their comments about the game as well. So I appreciate you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace and love.